Have you ever wondered how our lives would have been without electric motors? No, right? Then just look around you. The fan you use, the car you drive, your washing machine, mixer grinder, water pump, even the hard drive of your desktop. So many things are just a result of electric motors. But who invented it and when? Now you may have heard Michael Faraday invented electric motors. But it is not completely correct. He was not the only person back then and after his time many inventors and scientists were working on electric motors. And some of them did incredible work which led to our modern day electric motors. So how did we get today's electric motors? Well, it was all started around 1800s. In 1800, Alessandro Volta, an Italian physicist, invented electrochemical battery which can able to produce continuous current. This invention was very important and it was a first breakthrough for any electricity related field. In case you are wondering, after his name we got voltage, the standard unit we use in science and engineering. After this invention, scientists and inventors around the world started to work on current and magnetic fields. Because before this invention, they don't have any continuous current source. Almost two decades after this invention, the first breakthrough in the field of electric motor came. In the year 1821, Michael Faraday demonstrated first electromagnetic rotation. In the picture, you can see the model he used. He used mercury in it as a conductor for current flow. Clearly, this model cannot be used in any machinery, but still, after almost 200 years, this model is being used to demonstrate electromagnetism. Later, Peter Barlow an English mathematician and physicist invented a spinning wheel which is famous as Barlow's wheel. This was an early refinement of Faraday's experiment. Despite all these inventions, till 1830 there was no such electric motor which was capable of rotating mechanical parts. The first DC electric motor capable of turning mechanical parts was invented by an English physicist William Stefrion in 1832. It has a big impact because following his work, others also started working on useful electrical motors which can be used in any machinery. It is sometimes even considered as the first ever useful rotating motor. Later. Maurice Vin Jacobi, an engineer and physicist, created such an electric motor which developed remarkable mechanical output power. This is even called the first ever real electric motor. In the picture, you can see its structure has some similarities to our modern day electric motors. He again improved it even more, and the second version of the motor was powerful enough to drive a boat with around 12 people on it across a wide river. This was a massive success because past electric motors were not so efficient and powerful enough so we could use them. Later with the growing popularity of alternating current, inventors tried to build AC motors. The first commutatorless AC motor was invented by a famous physicist Galileo Ferris in 1885. Famous inventor Nikola Tesla also worked on AC motors and took his patent. His AC motor was phenomenal at that time. Here you can see it in the picture. He later sold his patents to George Westinghouse who has also the rights from Ferraris. After all this, we never look back. 
With the advancement of time, our electric motors became more powerful and energy convenient. Nowadays, we have various types of motors with different size and different power levels. So now, if we think, then really, electric motors shaped our entire civilization. So next time, when you ride a car or use your washing machine, just think how our lives would have been without electric motors. Thanks for watching our video. If you like it, then hit the like button and share with your friends and subscribe for more science related videos.